Pharmaceutical executive Martin Shkreli, characterized by some as public enemy number one for the alleged drug price gouging he's been accused of, is arrested Thursday morning for something else. He's now facing securities and wire fraud charges stemming from previous work at a hedge fund. WSJ Law Deputy Bureau Chief Ashby Jones is here to help us sort out these details. Hi, Ashby. Good to see you. Thanks. So he's widely known for something other than what he's being accused of this morning. We've heard in the past about this price gouging. Can you fill us in on that for a little bit? Yeah, so, so he, uh, in, with, with his involvement in, of a, with a company, a German company called uh, Turing Pharmaceuticals, um, he helped them uh, sort of purchase the rights to a drug and then, um, which I believed, I may have this wrong, but, but was, what was, uh, I think it was believed to help with HIV and mm. in, in um, uh, populations outside the U.S. and uh, he immediately sort of raised the prices on it um, immediately. It's the only sort of drug that can be used for this condition and he raised the prices um, pretty high, and people thought he was really taking advantage of a situation. Right, so he, here. he got a lot of bad press, but was never charged with anything in that yeah, case, right? That, that's okay. exactly right. But he is being charged with something today, unrelated. Tell us what he's being charged. Th with. This is right. So um, he he ran, started and ran a series of hedge funds starting in about 2009, um, and none of them seemed to be very successful, frankly. Um, but in order to keep them going, in order to uh, you know sort of keep them liquid, he he, um, he kept recruiting, kept trying to get more money from people, and the allegations today is that he was really cooking the books, I mean, lying to the investors. Um, it's, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Um, he then started another a, a separate company, a pharmaceutical company, um, and the allegations are that he then went and used money, which was a publicly traded pharmaceutical company, took money from that pharmaceutical company in order to repay some of the debts that he had incurred running the hedge funds. Sort of so, stealing from Peter to pay Paul. That's right. Bit. So what sorts of charges or what sorts of penalties is he facing? You know, uh, I'm not exactly sure on the sentences, mm -hmm. but, um, but, but prison time, certainly, um, and a lot of, uh, you know, a, a, a Years of, of of restitution, trying to make uh, make people whole for these payments, etc. Um, we'll just have to see it plays out. But uh, but the indictment that was laid out by federal prosecutors today is fairly detailed. So I I would imagine you know um, he's going to have to put his own lawyers into into high gear here. Does all the sort of negative opinions about him in the court of public opinion will that have any effect on this case? Do you think? You know, um, possibly, I think that the facts here are really limited to this time period yeah. um, from like 09 to the middle of last year, 14, before this price gouging stuff came out. But, but I do think that, you know, were this to wind up in front of a jury, um, you know, even if a judge instructed a jury not to consider the price gouging allegations, that... It, it might uh, factor in and, and be a problem for him. Such a young guy to have gotten himself into so much trouble. Yeah. Ashby Jones, thank you so much for that. You bet.